Do you think that this will ultimately lead to your unban? Probably not, but who knows? We'll see. I feel like there's a higher chance that, in like likelihood of things happening. I thought this. This is what I think is the chance of things happening right now. Okay, just based on everything I've seen, I think that the highest chance of things happening is um, Dan Clancy getting um, resigning. Okay, so Dan Clancy being gone. Then after that, um, Twitch shutting down. And then after that is Hassan getting banned. And then after that is me getting unbanned. That's what I think the order of likely things are in terms of happening. I think that Twitch will shut down before Hassan ever gets banned. Um, I don't know why. Maybe it's like the culture of the company or what's going on. But I'm shocked that how much heat that like Twitch is catching on everything. And he hasn't been temp banned at all. Like that's wild. That's crazy to me. So I think there's a higher chance of Twitch shutting down. Of, or not, I don't know if I should say Twitch shutting down, but I think there's a higher chance of like Amazon at least selling Twitch or Amazon distancing themselves from um, Twitch um, than Hassan getting banned or me getting unbanned. Yeah. Um, you are unbanned before Hassan is banned. I don't think there's ever a world where me and Hassan both exist on the same platform because I, Hassan wouldn't be able to handle it. I think he would exert every tiny ounce of pressure that he has on every single person he knows to make sure that never happens. What's the percentages of these things happening? Um, my guess, just based on what I've seen, my guess is there's a 51% chance of Clancy going, of Twitch shutting down right now. My guess would be 20%. It really depends on how much traction stuff gets in the media over the next week or two. Um, and then these are both like sub 1%. Hassan ha hasn't been banned yet, so it feels like it's not gonna happen. I'm, I don't think I'm ever getting unbanned, but who knows. A certain live stream on YouTube happened today where they said you were anti-Ukraine. What? If the smearing of me as an anti-Semite who like denies rape wouldn't stick because people could see it with their own eyes, now we're just going back to like even older sh you don't think all war crimes are genocide, so people are dumb and you're not? Yeah. Damn, yeah. Heavy research day. How many Twitter tabs? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 Twitter tabs today. Plus these, what are the blue things? Are these streamables or is that also Twitter? I mean, that's why I made the distinction between Lebanon and Gaza. Oh. Yeah. If we go, if we go back far enough, maybe people will start talking about how I bought a house. Oh yeah, just because you bought a house. God, he's so good faith. He's such a good faith person when he summarizes people's issues with him. Do you think that streamers will take some distance from Hassan now with all the flack that he gets? Um, probably a little bit of distance until shit like clears up, but then they'll all go running back because as long as he's like controlling, as long as he has like a decent viewership and then um, as long as he's willing to play hardball, which he will, uh, you, you kind of have to be loyal to Hassan or else he'll like, he'll try to career assassinate you. That's just like his MO basically. America is not a real country. I swear to f God. Uh, How do like, I explain any of this sh to any normal human? What that that people want <sighs> French fries dipped in ranch? No, dude. I'm talking about oh, like a f sitting U.S. representative. Oh, yeah. I got you. Sorry, wrong. Following a you were talking about something else. Following like <laughs> one of the most mentally ill people. Yes, I know. Okay, I on the it. planet, no, like literally it. one of the most mentally ill people on the planet. Yeah. Who has made over the course of the past six years like. Probably more than 1,000 alt, alt accounts. But I do get you. Try couple. One of the things that I'm starting to do, I did this, it's, I'm too charitable to people. Um, I'm starting to reanalyze some of Hassan's actions through a little bit more of a malicious lens rather than just assuming it's like, oh, just, you know, whatever's happening. I actually think that these types of streams are a lot more intentional. I used to say like, oh my God, Hassan is autistic. Why are you bringing in these streamers that don't know anything about this super heavy political shit? Just having them sit here while you're like being autistic. It's not autistic though. I think that this is heavily um, intentional. The idea is, is you have a person here and two things are happening. Either one, you're forcing them to co-sign your opinions, which gives you more legitimacy. And two, you're bringing their audience in to indoctrinate them so that you can turn them into something akin to Ethan's audience from H3H3, where even if Hassan is being a total cock mongler to him for months, um, you can turn enough of uh, Ethan's audience against him by being in front of them, indoctrinating them with your types of opinions. And I think that's exactly what's happening here when Hassan is bringing in other people. He wants access to their fan base and he wants the legitimacy of them in the corner of the screen uh, co-signing his opinions. Uh, I think it's super, 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 super crazy and disgusting. It's like um, it's like when I have like people on my stream that are non-political and be like, oh, ask them about this or ask them. It's like, bro, these people are not political people. Why the fuck? 
I bring them into this world and then tell them to, hey, like give me, um, give me an opinion on this thing. Like they don't know anything about it. That feels gross and weird to me. Uh, but that's, that is exactly what Hassan does here when he's got people like this here. So it's not accidental, it's, it's intentional. Yeah, do you remember when he tried to get Myth, his black friend, to co-sign his cracker opinion? That was disgusting and insane. Um, what a crazy thing to do on stream. Can you use the commentary community to change the narrative around Hassan? <sighs> there are some things that like I'm willing to do to play dirty now, but there are some things I'm probably never willing to do. I don't like the idea of like manipulating people to do my bidding. Like maybe when I was like 25, I would have those feelings. But the way that it stands right now is I want to be able to make my argument to people as compellingly as possible. And if you don't believe it, then then you don't believe it. But like, so for the commentary community, like I'll share whatever info I have with them. Um, to say like, hey, look, it sounds crazy, but the idea of like, I'm gonna use this community, to, I just don't like that. If they see it and they think it's worth covering, then they can, but like I've never, I've never ever ever done anything like that ever behind the scenes, which is why it's never leaked ever or anything like that ever, because I've never, I've just never conducted myself in that manner. No, the more that I watch it, I think it's like very, very, very intentional how all of this works. I think I disagree. I feel like if he was able to be calculated to this degree, he'd be way better at it. What are you talking about? Hassan has owned the entirety of the Twitch political sphere and all of the peripheral streamers for years. There, I don't think Hassan could be any better at it. He's also single-handedly destroying his connections and fighting with Congress people, being way too over the top instead of just being slightly more measured. I mean, I didn't say he was the best person at it, but like he's, he's clearly, he's probably having an emotional response right now because Hassan's probably never ever used to getting serious pushback or being held accountable for any of his actions ever. So it's probably like a first for him having to actually deal with that, right? That doesn't mean that everything else was just an accident or like intuitional or intuition based and he didn't think about it. He's just like having issues dealing with it now because one, I'm literally like his shadow nemesis that like the worst thing in the world could be anybody publicly agreeing with me and disagreeing with the sun. That's like the, the worst possible thing. If anybody agrees with me publicly, they have to be either a racist you know, uh, uh, um, some type of like uh, anti-Arab, like you have to be insane. That's why he has to color everybody that talks with me or agrees with me as some insane person. So if like congressmen or advertising, anybody else starts, it's like, that's like the, it's a nuclear meltdown trigger for him. He's so much like Trump. He's so used to dismissing criticism, relying on his fans to attack and deflect that he thinks he's always a victim. Yeah, it's not really that Hassan is like Trump. It's just that the entire online and real world political sphere has begun operating like this after Trump. It took me a while to notice. It's one of the reasons why, uh, like with X, the way that I engage with Twitter now, and I see everybody does this. The goal, when you're engaging in free speech, okay, when you're engaging in online politics, the goal is to just take a megaphone and scream, 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 scream as much as possible. That's it. You don't listen to anybody. You don't have real discourse or dialogue. You don't engage in real debate or argumentation. You don't even have to support what you're saying. You just scream, 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 you're talking points, and that's it. Um, and then you've got like clever little schemes uh, that you use in order to avoid being held accountable for anything or to avoid responding to any real criticism. That's just how the, the political world, that's what it's turned into. Okay, oh, this is a stuff. phenomenally rare Polish W, okay? Like, unimaginably rare. I mean, he's Polish, so obviously he doesn't know how to do math, so that's probably why that happened. Um, speaking of very stupid, uh, Poland. A Polish man figured out how to work a fire extinguisher? You're really gonna f***ing act like that's not impressive? Come Bro, the only country <clears throat> that unironically takes a fat W in all of this is Poland. Because they don't know how to use computers. Like, there's only one computer in the country, and many people don't even know how to use it. It sucks, too. <laughs> Jesus. It sucks, too, because, like, Poland desperately wants to be accepted as, like, part of the West, part of the Western world. Why does he hate Polish people? Anybody that has bad views or bad memories of the Soviet Union are, like, the f me to people like Hassan. He'll call them all not basically. Remember, in the West, um, we have this very privileged view of hating the Nazis, like they're the worst people in the world, okay? And then also like maybe whatever about the Soviet Union. Now tankies love the Soviet Union, although they won't always say that openly, and they hate Nazis, okay? Tankies don't hate Nazis because of the Holocaust or any of that cringe. They hate Nazis because the Nazis were opposed at one point um, to the Soviet Union, right? After Hitler invaded um, the, the Soviet Union when he backstabbed the Molotov written trap, whatever the f that pact is, the, uh, the alliance essentially that they were working to forge when they were splitting up uh, Poland and, and when they were agreeing not to attack each other. <clears throat> Countries that lived that were um, between the two of these powers sometimes had to make awkward decisions over, well, who do we help, right? So you've got, I think, Bandera, our figures in Ukraine that decided to align with the Nazis to fight against the Soviets. And so obviously people like Hassan will look at these people and go like, oh, you're pro Nazi. They speak the language of the West, but their emotions are with the East. They speak the language of the West when they say, look, Ukrainians supported the Nazis. They're racist and anti-Semitic, but the feelings are with the East, where they're like, we hate Ukrainians because they decided against the Soviet Union. They don't actually give a f about the Nazis. 
They just care that Ukraine and Poland wasn't standing with the Soviets. That's the thing that they're um, fixated on. But remember, tankies, the Soviet Union, ha has learned to communicate with people in the West through propaganda in a, in a very effective manner, and these people pick it all up very intuitively. So therefore, they are so not susceptible to cyber warfare. It's kind of crazy when you think about it. I appreciate that, Destiny. All right, bye. Remember to hit that like and subscribe, and don't forget the notification bell so that my videos show up right in your feed.